Hi everyone. Thank you for joining me on my channel. I'm Darla Lucian of Darla Lucian Studios and uh, we are going to do a little flip through today. So hang on to your socks. There's a few of these. I have tagged them so that if you go to the Etsy shop, you'll know exactly which one you picked. It'll be exactly the one that's in this video. When you pick number one, it'll be this one, for example. So I'm going to set these off to the side and we're just going to go through. So these journals are all made in the same manner. It's a file folder that has been made into a, a junk journal or a blank book, however you want to use it. And they've been bound, uh, some of them have been bound with embroidery floss and others like this one with kitchen twine. And, um, you know, some of them are different than others, but they're all generally the same. All right. So... I'm just going to do a flip, a flip through quickly. Um, if you want to put me on faster speed, I get it. Um, and we're just going to go through. So the the materials they use or the pages, the papers used are scrapbook paper, copy paper, scrapbook paper, coffee dyed copy paper, construction paper, let's see, more construction paper. And then that is the center of our signature. And I just have it tied right in the center. And you can leave these long if you want. You can tie it in a bow if you like. You can put things like beads or something on there. And so then the back half will be just the same, just in reverse order. Simple as anything. These are lovely little blank books that are really um, good for, you know, um, if you want to do bullet journaling or if you want to put down recipes or stick something down, like if you have ephemera or um, if you wanted to do a collection, like for example, if you went away on a trip and you wanted to record all your information and you didn't want to take a big clunky journal with you, that's number one. Then you could take one of these and you can, you know, fill it up with all your stuff, add your own pockets. This one has a really stiff one on the, on the front, so that would be a good one to put a pocket on if you wanted because it would hold your things. Um, so again, it's the same thing. It's different weights of uh, card, um, sorry, a scrapbook paper. This one has a piece of vellum in, which is kind of fun. Lots of coffee dyed. This is really a, a kind of an interesting texture on that scrapbook paper. It looks painted. Oh, I have this one upside down. Hugs and kisses on that one. And there's the center, the pretty center on this one, isn't it? All right, so you kind of get the idea there. I like that vellum, that vellum is so pretty. And I thought the colors went so nice together. So that is number, number two. Number three. This one has a little bit of uh, Cupid uh, copy paper. It was a pre-printed one. This one has a bit of a printable in here. Oh, for some reason I have these upside down. Let's just turn this around. There we go. <laughs> Might as well see it the right way. Otherwise you're going to think I tied these all in upside down, which is, I mean, obviously you can see they're perfectly reversible for the most part. So this one has a few little different kinds of things in, but generally they're the, the same idea. And that's the center of this one. Again, that other side pops out. And that's number three. Number four. Nice yellow file folder. Oh, I missed a page. Yeah, just coffee dyed. This one has a painty graph paper in there. That one's kind of fun. This one has a different texture. Almost feels plasticky on the outside, but that's uh, scrapbook paper. My fingers are so dry from dealing with papers today. <laughs> I can barely turn pages. This isn't that bad. <laughs> oh, 
here's the center of this one. Ooh, doesn't that go nice with the yellow? Good one first. The end of summer and the beginning of fall, I think. That time, you, anytime you need a little sunshine in your life, then you have the sunflowers, in my opinion. Well, it's kind of an interesting coffee dyeing process there. Uh, all of these papers are my own coffee dyed ones that I have in here. And then that's the end of number four. Number five. This one has um, sort of an orange and yellow theme to it. Oh, a little bit of blue there. I like this kind of burnt orange color. Kind of makes me think of like pumpkin spice latte. Are we getting in the zone for that yet? Oh, and that one has a sunflower in the center as well. I'm almost ready. Some more, uh, this is copy, copy paper that's been uh, painted on, a yellow one. I was just trying some different experiments with the paper to see what I could come up with, and it's fun to put these experiments into these journals now see them in use. And that's the end of five. On to six. Another yellow one. This one has kind of got some peaches and corals, looks like. Oh, and a little bit of green. That was a printable. Some coffee paper and that nice coral color. And then some more of that plasticky feeling um, scrapbooking paper, which is kind of fun. And then this is that center. I like how the two layers of borders kind of look nice on that. It's just something I printed off the internet. You can find all different kinds of things if you look hard enough. Signature, and that is six. Well, we are just cruising along here. Seven. Oh, <laughs> paper clip got some of the papers. So this one has a bit of the the file folder uh, information on it, and I like how that looks. I would probably leave that, but if you're not a fan, you can always put like you can put something there. So this one is in creams and blues, looks like. I did try to keep them from being too random. Oh yeah, and there's some kind of more neutrals in here with the blues looks like, shades of blue. Um, so that way, you know, if you wanted to do a theme, you could, look how cool that looks. With, again, with the double border, right? The, the folder and then the page behind. That was a printable. Thanks, Gail. <laughs> I love that one. It's one of my favorites out of what she has. I mean, she's got tons, but that's the one I keep printing over and over. <laughs> I just love it. And that's the end of that one. So again, you know, you can use these for all different kinds of things. Um, some people might use them as, oh, here's them. We're on number eight now. Look at us go. Goodness. Um, you could even use them, for example, as like a guest register at, say, a bridal shower or a baby shower. And, you know, you could have the, the people who come write their, like, a message to, you know, the guest of honor kind of thing. Um, you could use these in any way you'd use a blank book, but I, I like the idea of, you know, people being able to choose. Kind of like the old, tiny autograph books. You remember those? where people would choose, you know, a page and then they'd write their message and like all of these pages you can write on. Even the painty ones, I mean, if you have the right kind of marker or sharpie or something. This is kind of a pretty one in the center, hey? This would be fun for, you know, any number of things. Makes me think party. Oops. Yeah, they, uh, the colors just go together so nicely. I love uh, putting signatures together. This is kind of a fun, this is a scrapbooking paper. Um, I like that kind of a collagey look. It's kind of fun. 
Number eight. Number nine. This one has a little Bible verse on it. Oh, isn't that pretty? I like how the, the two colors here are the colors that are in here. That worked out really well. Obviously, I planned that. <laughs> it could have been a happy accident, too, but I'm pretty sure I probably picked those colors to go together in this journal and then decided they needed to be beside each other, too. I like, um, I like you know, putting colors together and just kind of, I find that color just sets the tone, right? And then what you want to write, you know, you're influenced a little bit by the colors that are there. A little color theory for you. Not a pretty ending to the, to the signature there. So these are all single signature. I guess you're getting that by this point. Number 10. Oh, and the tags, I'm going to keep those because I sell lots of different items and it helps to, for me to keep track just by having numbers in the video so that you get exactly which one that you want. When you see it, you'll know, right? And I have had people in the past ask me if I customize these um, because they do come to you without any decoration, without any ephemera or anything in there. And I have had uh, one lady, oh, isn't this a pretty center? Look at how great that looks. This one is a multicolored, I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of a rainbowy one that just kind of keeps going and going. Isn't that fun? I've had uh, people ask me if I would do um, a customization for them. Um, so I, I did it as a commission then. So they purchased the book and then the commission was a separate uh, fee on top of that. And we had, of course, a separate timeline because these are already together. And then um, to do a commission, I had to do the decorating and so of course I had to interview them to find out exactly what it was they were looking for and it turned out they were going to be gifts and uh, oh, it was such my pleasure to be able to decorate them and send them out and to have them customized for the person that uh, well, she had actually a few people in mind she bought three isn't that wonderful for her daughters-in-law they make great gifts number 11 here we are so this one again has a bit of writing I just thought it was kind of interesting look at how fancy this person's writing is I'm assuming that cell doesn't work anymore, but <laughs> how fun would it be to give that one a try? <laughs> Again, you can always just cover that up if you want, or just leave it. Like, I enjoy seeing the writing on older documents, but obviously it says cell number, so it's not all that old. So this one has, I like this, uh, there's just a little bit of the blue you can see. So we get that, the two colors happening again. And here we are at the center. This one is a little bit more wintry because these are kind of snowflakes, right? Um, but, you know, that's coming soon. And if you do want to purchase these for gifts, you know, especially if you want to purchase these for Christmas gifts, sometimes it takes a little while if you're going to decorate it yourself or if you want me to do that, depending on how many people are commissioning me, depends on my timelines for things because I do uh, not want to... Uh, tell somebody that I can do something in a certain amount of time and then not be able to fulfill that. So um, I'm always very conscious of um, how how long I need to take so that I can do a really awesome job. I love how this turned out. Hey, the coffee dyeing is really interesting here. I put a piece of lace over top and it's kind of imprinted on top of the, the way it, it dripped. All right, so that is number 11. 12. 12 has a camo kind of feel there. So I think this one's going to be some neutrals and browns. Oh, kind of the adventure pack is that it. There's a map there and there was a, this coffee dyes darker. Oh, here's another one of those Gale ones. That's in that same kit. And this is a fun, this is actually, this is not cardboard box. This is scrapbook paper that's printed as cardboard box, which is pretty hilarious to me. I have a boy... So when I was doing scrapbooking, I just thought we had to get that stuff. And uh, so I obviously overpurchased because I still have some, and he's 16 this year. So <laughs> back in the day when I was uh, such a scrapbooker and I found junk journaling is just more my speed. Look at how cool that looks together. Oh yeah, see, 
these are really nice colors. So because it's neutral, you can really add your own uh, spin on it. This, so this is 12. 13. Ooh. Like that. This is uh, one-sided scrap of paper on that one. This is more of that stuff that feels kind of uh, plasticky or waxy, and it's two-sided. And this stuff is also the same. It's not quite as plasticky feeling, but it still has that. I'm not sure why. And there's the center there. Some more sunflowers. You can see I'm kind of a sunflower girl. I do like that. And maybe it's because we're at the end of summer here in Canada and everybody's sunflowers are basically at their max height, I think. Some around town are like, I don't know, 12 feet tall? Like, it's crazy how tall they've gotten. Makes you just picture how fast the summer has moved on by. I've been crafting away in my studio. It's been too warm to be out most of the day. And that was 13. So, 14 is our last one. And it's kind of, I don't know if you can see it exactly, it's almost like a teal cover or like an emerald green color. I can't quite describe the color that this is, but it's uh, it's quite pretty. And I don't have very many file folders like this, but I know I needed a unique color. So this one is more in jewel tones, so it's not any one particular color, but you'll see a lot of brighter or richer colors in here. Oops, let's not skip a page. I want you to be able to see all of it. Right. Oh, and there's that one with the Bible verse again. And then, and this is interesting. This actually got sun bleached on the edge, and I just thought that looked so cool. So I'll put that in too. Look at how neat this one looks. This one is very smooth and shiny. And this is the center of the signature. Look at how great that goes with that as the border. So you can see I kind of picked richer colors here, and that might just be somebody's speed a little bit more so than some of the other more pastel-y ones. But uh, hopefully I have something that uh, suits your flavor and your particular taste and the projects that you have in mind. And there we go. That's the last of that one. So there you have it, folks. We have 14, count them, 14 journals, and they will be in the Etsy shop. Just check the link down below. and. Um, they will all be listed by number. I won't have <clears throat> a flip through video. Uh, this flip through video will be the one that will be linked uh, for the journals there. So you'll be able to take a look at it. All right. Take care, everyone. Thank you so much for taking a look. Happy crafting.